I sense someone who did not like and subscribe. Greetings and hello there, everybody, and oh, where's my, there's my button. Hey, I found the button. Welcome aboard. It's seven months into our Nooch2 Hyper account, a hyperdrive farming account. Make sure to like and subscribe because YouTube demands that you do this. And let's talk. Where are we after seven months in hyperdrive farming? So uh, a couple of notes. One is I want to tell you how much money I've spent on the account and where it's gotten me. And I will tell you, I haven't spent a dime in almost a month now. But so far on this account, from day one, we're at seven months old, I spent $762. The vast majority of that was spent on crystals, just making sure I always have a crystal flow available you know, at the top so that I can refresh my mods three times a day, my cantina battles three times a day, and my light, dark side, and ship battles three times a day. I make sure I refresh all of those three times every day. The main one being, if you want to look at a couple of differences, differences between this and a free-to-play account, it's tough to do mods and cantina battles three times every single day as a free-to-play account before you get to before you get into Grand Arena at level 85. Uh, but here on a hyperdrive account, I'm keeping those things activated. And what I'm finding is that my farming speed has basically doubled. I am doubling my farming speed over a, a free-to-play account, and probably even a little bit more than doubled. And, uh, and what I'm doing also is, as I get close to those major farms, when I, get, when I got close to Executor, I probably spent an extra 100 bucks. You know, I just dropped it in there, made sure I had the crystals, made sure I had everything available to get uh, Executor done in April. Instead of, I didn't have to wait to May, I could get it done in April. So that's kind of the difference in the accounts right now. If you can pay, you know, if you can spend 100 bucks a month on an account, you're gonna double your progress from a free-to-play account, at least double. We'll, we'll see where we, where we sit at the end of 12 months. It should be really interesting. Um, so this is where we are with the account right now, but before we get into that too deep, I wanna pop up this right here. It's me looking a little bit consternated. I wasn't, I was actually just thinking a little bit, but you know, hand to the forehead. This was me right the day after I unlocked Executor. So I unlocked Executor at four stars on the 15th of March. And here on the 16th of March, I made this video about where I sat at the time. I needed to work on Cad Bane. He needed to be to, to gear 12. And I only had the Xandu Blood at seven stars. It needed about 12 or 14 more shards to get to seven stars. Um, I also need to work on Bam there to get them up and running. And I'm farming some things in there. So th that's where I was, you know, the day after opening the Executor. And a couple, and one other note for you guys, for, you, for those of you who were here, the day I unlocked Executor. You know that I only took it to like level 72 because I ran out of ship credits. I couldn't upgrade all these abilities. Well, I've got the main ability here maxed out and that's a big deal. It gives a lot of extra health and protection and evasion up and health and protection. It gives a lot of bonuses to the teams. And I have all these abilities maxed out right now to where they can be until I get Executor to five stars, which I will make happen this month. This month, and it's gonna be here in uh, nine days, on the 15th of April, I'm gonna get Executor to five stars. I'm gonna make that happen. I'll spend the, I'll spend the crystals. I'll get to do the bonus phase. So then it'll cost me, I think, 6,000 crystals. We'll, we'll take it to the five stars. Then I'll have to spend a little more money again to get myself uh, loaded back up with crystals. So where have I advanced? If we pull up this picture again, you can see I've got, I've got General Kenobi at six stars in gear 11, Cad Bane at gear 12, uh, and right now today. I've got General Kenobi, seven stars, gear 12. I got the Mandalorian, gear 12. He was only at gear 10 before it looks like. I only had him gear 10 when I unlocked the Executor. And I've got, uh, where is, what was else was I looking? I was looking at something else. Oh, Cad Bane. Cad Bane is, is Relic 5 now. So I got him finished and got him done. That's three weeks progress. So where am I now in the game? I'm, I'm kind of in this holding pattern. Uh, I want to finish off the teams that I've got. So let's talk a little more about that about finishing off these teams. One is Beskar Mando needs to be Relic. I, I need to get him to Relic 5 to perform the best I can with my Executor. That's got to be done, so that's my number one priority right now. It doesn't look like with the gear pieces, but the gear pieces are slow. I'm getting them done. There. I did actually take Sunfac. If you look back at this picture here, I had Sunfac uh, at, uh, it looks like he was at gear 10 before, or maybe even gear 9 or 10, I don't know. But I've got him at gear 12 now. He's actually finished. I can take him off, off the board. I needed to finish my Geos. They were behind. My Geos were behind in general, but I've got them all now at gear 12 uh, to be able to contribute to the guild as far as we, you know, Geo territory battles and getting those watch shards unlocked, etc. So 
I've got that all done. Uh, you know, for, I, need, I need to get used to just cl clicking off of it and getting there. So what am I doing as far as I need? I, I'm rounding off teams while I passively farm for Supreme Leader Kylo Ren. And I think that's generally how that those two things are true. You should always have a passive farm going on in the background until you get really close. You know, if you're really close to finishing the big farm you're on, then just dial in and get it finished. Okay, on my other account, Jedi Master Kenobi is all I care about right now. I'm, I'm four gear pieces away from from that journey starting. I don't care about anything else right now. Nothing else is, is of import on my other account. But right now in this account, I got Executor done. I'm working my way toward S. I'm kind of meandering toward SLKR. And in the meantime, I'm going to finish off my CLS squad. I'm going to gear up some Imperial Troopers. And I'm working on Padme as well. I want to get that Padme team. And, and I'm Emphis Nest here. You see, I've almost got her seven stars. That'll be, that'll be another... If I'm looking at like three shards a day, I need 42 more shards. Three into 42 goes one, 12 carry the, uh, two month, two weeks. Two more, two, two, two and a half weeks, I'll have Emphis Nesta seven stars, and that'll be a nice, I'm gonna get her relic. I wanna get Savage Oppressed relic. You can see I can actually take him up a gear level right now. And let's go ahead and do this. I don't see any Carbantes in here. We'll take him to gear eight. It's not very exciting. He doesn't really, he's not an exciting character until I get that. Omicron on anyway, so there's not much use in doing what I just did right there until I can get his Omicron active. And I, where can I look for an Omicron? Uh, where can I see if I've got an Omicron? Uh, there's easier places to, uh, to check. Actually, I can go right here. Let's pull this up. Let's pull this up. Let's go farm his signal data, find it. And right now, how many Omicrons do I have? I've got 22. So I actually do have enough for an Omicron right now. But I don't have enough gear to get Savage Oppress up to gear, you know, to relic levels. So there's no point in putting it on him. But he's going to be a nice add for a relic character, a relic Omicron on my roster. So this is what it's, this is probably going to take me three months to get done. If you look at my CLS team, we pull up my Rebels and take a look. Uh, this is the work I got to do here. These four, I need to get up to relic levels. And you can see, I mean, it, I, I need Carbantes like nobody's business right now. I need so many Carbantes, but... These are the four I got to get up to relic levels. I'm working on farming 2PO every day. I farm farming one node. And then I'm working on uh, getting to 3PO. And what I've got there is I've got 7-star Chirpa, Elder, Lograte, and Paplu. Now, one thing of note, I do have Tebow at 7 stars. I could use Tebow in the 3PO event. It's just a lot more painful than using Wicket and... I've gone back and forth a little bit, but... In order to use Tebow, you really have to, like, get at least one of these characters to gear 12 and maybe pop another Zeta or two. I'd rather get Wicket up to gear 9 or 10 at 7 stars and use him with these four. It's the ideal team. Get them all around gear 9 or 10. Maybe you take Elder up a little bit, a little bit, you know, like 11, and you, you pop it out with that. Oh, Pat Blue might be able to, but anyway... This is the team I'm going to do it with. I'm not going to gear up Tebow, so I am farming Wicket. I'm doing two. I'm doing a refresh every day, farming this node twice a day. So that's what I'm working on right now to get my CLS team done. So I'm going to get my CLS team done. I'm going to get Dark Trooper Relic. I'm, I'm going to get Veers and Stark Relic as well. I realized that ideally for like the Galactic, uh, not the Galactic Bounties, but the um, uh, Rebel Roundup and Rebel Roundup... Uh, uh, assault battle. I, I kind of would want to have range trooper in there instead of maybe instead of maybe Stark or instead of maybe Veers. I'm not farming range trooper. I'm I'm too far from it. I got too many other priorities priorities right now. So I'm going with my just my basic Imperial trooper team right now, which is which is Veers, Stark, Piet, Dark trooper, Moth Gideon, and that's the team I'm going to run with. You see range trooper down here. He's at 22. I, I that's I, I don't want to spend two or three months farming him. It's just not in the cards right now. This Iron Versio team is, is kind of a, a side thing right now that I've got. I put him on defense and grain arena, but I don't really worry about grain arena, so something for later. What else am I working on at the moment? So these are the things I'm working on relicking. I want to get Mandalorian up to at least gear 12 and probably relic because he's a big he's a big factor in grand arena. The same thing for Emphis Nest. You know, these three characters right here, Savage, Mandalorian, Emphis Nest, I'm doing that so I can have these one-shot type characters in Grand Arena to really make a, a big difference there. Padme, I want to get up. If you look at my Galactic Republic, um, I want to get Padme up because not only can I use her in Grand Arena with a team like, say, General Kenobi, Ahsoka, R2, once I get rid of three, once I put 3PO on the CLS team, 
and then maybe Mace Windu or something. But also, I need to have her uh, geared up and, and really relicked up. I don't know if I'll get her relic right now, but I need to have her geared up for like territory battles, territory wars. She's a really important team in there. She's got a Zeta, another Zeta I need to add there. Is it one or two more Zetas? Another one Zeta I need to add down here to her. These are all just Omegas, right? Yeah. Um, so I do want to get her up. I, I wouldn't say I'm going to hold up my Supreme Leader Kylo Ren farm for Padme, but I'm going to try to get her gear 12. So these other characters, though, I'm going to get all these guys to Relic right here. These are all going to be Relic. I want to get Emphis Nest and Savage Press to Relic, Chupio to Relic, Mandalorian at least to gear 12 and possibly Relic to there, and Padme just as far. I'm just going to keep her as like a passive farm while I'm doing this. And of course, then Han Solo, Chewbacca also need to be Relic as well. Well, where's my Supreme Leader Kylo Ren farm? What's going on with that? I wouldn't say I'm really digging deep into it right now, but I did finish off Phasma to her seven-star farm. I'm saving the credits right now. I don't, you know, credits are still, 17,000 is not a lot of credits. They're, they're still pretty, you know, I really want to still dial in how I'm spending them. 17,000 is the most I've probably ever had on this account. But I still want to be careful, and I've got some mod work to do, so i got to watch it there. So I've got her up to seven stars. I'm working on Kylo Ren. That's I'm getting him in the guild activity shop whenever I can. First Order Officer, I finished off to seven stars. Special Forces TIE Pilot is ready to go at seven stars. But I've got some farming here. The nice thing is they just changed Sith Trooper and First Order Stormtrooper. Now they're on the same node. That's going to make that farm a lot easier when I switch to it. But right now, I don't have the regular energy to spend on that. Uh, oh, by the way, one more look here. I've got Veteran Smuggler Han already to seven stars. I did this for the uh, I did this for the the smuggler event where I get a bunch of mod materials. I can do the next I can do the penultimate tier on that, which is kind of nice. I'm farming a bunch of ships right now. In addition, I'm farming Kylo Ren's command shuttle, which is the one that will always catch you off guard for finalizer. Farming that every day. That's I've still got four plus months to go on this farm. Um, Hyena bomber. I'm farming every day. I've got the vulture droid at seven stars. And Malevolence is my next capital ship, so Hyena Bomber is, Hyena Bomber is an everyday farm. I need this Y-Wing Starfighter fighter up. Now that I've got Executor, my Houndstooth goes on Executor, I need this to be a tank on my, on my Negotiator fleet, so I'm farming this every day. So with those three ship fleets, in, you know, those all need regular energies for those ship farms. It's really, it's really pulling off, and I can't go and get like first order stormtrooper and Sith trooper because I'm just, I gotta get these farmed right now. So that's the priority. First order tie fighter, I grab every time it's in the, uh, in the guild activity store. There's, I'm farming tie echelon with my fleet energy. I'm farming tie defender with my fleet energy. Not that far to go on that, and that'll re look really nice in my Tarkin fleet once it's ready to go. And I actually, <laughs> the, I mean, I'm kind of keeping an eye. I haven't really been super active. But honestly, I'm close enough to Phantom and Ghost at this point that I am keeping an eye on them in Fleet Arena and grabbing their shards so I can get the Chimera down the road too. But if you look at all this stuff, guys, I haven't I haven't leveled up my Geos. I've only got I am really I'm much much poorer on fleet currency, on shipbuilding materials than I am on regular currency right now. So, I mean, my Geos are all level one. It's crazy. Well, not Geo Spies 85, but these other two guys. I need to get them up. I just don't have the credits for it. It's it's really it's really a trade-off when you get that executor. You got to work on those ships. So I'm saving up for that as well. And that's everything that I'm doing everywhere I'm going with the account right now. Uh, you know, farming my rebels, my CLS team in the background. I gotta stop. Just unquick stuff. These guys got to get up to relic levels. I got to get my troopers up, and then these guys. So that's everything I'm doing on the account right now. It's seven months on a hyperdrive account, and the amount of money I spent again. Around 760 bucks is the spend so far. I'll keep up to date with everything. I'll be back doing the uh, executor event here again in nine days to get it to five stars. And that's what we got, folks. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is where we are with the Nooch 2 Hyper account at seven months. Let me know where you sit at seven months. Uh, I'd love to hear about your account, how different it looks, how same it looks, whatever the things you're farming, your priorities, and everything that's going on with your account. Please let me know in comments. And throughout your day, throughout your week, when you're talking to your loved ones, always keep in mind, Nooch too good.